the high winds and the little bit of rain we got washed some of the bark off of my garden and onto the sidewalk. I'll sweep that up real quick. But here's a front yard update. The tulips. I planted three different kinds, a late blooming and early blooming, and then just a standard tulip. So the early blooming have already opened up. And I have these should open up soon. And then I still have ones that are forming the buds and growing up. So it looks like I should have tulips out here to enjoy for at least a week or two. Now I have planted the yellow alyssum. That should stay in bloom all summer as it is, maybe grow bigger. But these tulips, the early is just getting started. So my yellow lilies are just starting to come up. My black-eyed Susans or yellow cone flowers, whatever you wish to call them, they are just starting to come up. Now Lily's day lilies, they are coming up and I am past time to harvest this dandelion. I am going to harvest it today. Somewhere in here I planted tickweed and I haven't seen it come up yet. And oh, there we go. Got some garbage out of there. So the roses, those are the yellow tea roses. They're doing well. The little evergreen bush, it will be something someday, but that's a few years away. That is a tulip that's been in my yard. It's such a pale yellow, it's almost a white. I don't know what that's called. It might be foxglove. I got it last year at the Michigan Plant Exchange. The holly bush that I planted is doing okay. And again, the tulips, oh, and that tulip, I have tried and tried and tried for years and years and years to get that thing out of the bush. It's locked in there with the roots, and it peaks up every year and then dies off. And look how tall it gets. Just love it. I've given it up. Let it live. Let it bloom where it was planted. So, more of the tulips. The daffodils are spent, but the last of the daffodils did not go away until the first of the tulips bloomed. And the hyanthesis was in bloom the whole time, and the crocus was up until the daffodils were up, so I've got continuous blooms so far. Now these are yellow irises. I transplanted them this year. They were the new growth off of old plants, therefore I don't expect any actual blooms this year just for them to come up. And I did plant in front of here. I still need to post a rain tonight. If it does not, I will turn on the sprinkler. But that is where the front yard is in the cottage garden. I have to decide on fencing. The cottage garden just has to have a fence for the plants to lean against and push through. And so I need a fence right here along where the rocks are right there. And something, something cottagey something that goes with the 100 and, I don't know, 40, 50 year old house. Uh, something that goes with the whole look of the neighborhood. So I need to, I'm on a mission. There is a company in Detroit called Reclaim Fencing and it's uh, cash and carry is what the sign says. Every time I drive by, they're not open. I'm going to go there and see what they have because what I see in the yard looks really super cool. And as you can see, my yard's small. It wouldn't take much to fence it in. The peonies are doing well. This is an old wicker laundry basket that, huh, male dogs, my nasty little dog decided to tack his leg on. 
therefore the wicker absorbed that nasty. And so I threw it in the fire pit. I burned the wicker off the metal and turned the metal into my peony cage. And when that is in full bloom and it's all up the rest of the summer, you'll never see this cage, but it'll keep the plants from falling down because those blooms get huge, huge. And um, they always fall over and land on the ground if I don't cage them or wire them up or stake them. And this seems to work the best. And it kind of disappears. And when, you, is it, when it is visible, it's only in the early spring when I first put it out. And oh my, I swear, it's not as bad as when school is in. But I think people believe the world is their garbage can and they just throw it down. Oh, and the yellow, the yellow lilacs. There's the yellow lilacs. They are doing spectacularly well. I do need to stake them because they're leaning over a bit too much and I'd like, I don't want them to lean against my house as they get bigger. So I will have to stake them. Keep them going in the direction I want them to go before they get tough. So that's the front yard update where we're at. Oh, and I'm getting tangled in the rose bush. I have still have not tied it up. So it's true to its natural form. It's just kind of wild this year.